Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. It's Burnley against Paris Saint-Germain. The game, of course, under floodlights this evening. So without further ado, we take you to Burnley. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, here we are, Alan, off and running. We love this competition, the Champions Cup. It's the group stage, match day one. Yeah, the start of what can be a fantastic journey if you put it together, if you do everything right. Big game. you can guarantee in any country winning a league title PSG put, proved it again get Ibrahimovic in the squad yes he's uh, he has got a certain knack hasn't he wherever he goes they finish uh, as top dogs and he's not disappointed once again and um, he just seems to keep on scoring goals what a character and the match official is Alessandro Vecchiocina the start of the group stage of the Champions Cup match day one and we're off and running some fascinating football ahead yeah I think so it's the competition everybody wants to be involved in so much money to be earned and so much glory as well great chance back to back to be. just the push then the pull foul well, it's a definite foul and it's poor marking really is that has uh, brought joy to the scorer. Well, you're taking a chance when you go for the top right-hand corner, but when the ball gets to here. In with the chance. Still in play here. Defender caught out now. No, it's poor. Got caught square on there. Well, he has a go. Good work from the keeper. Now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. So close to his second goal of the game. Yeah, and that might have been... Uh situation so what an important stop David Luiz the visiting team Alan would have wanted to come here with their first choice center back but he's injured yeah, and he's a dominant player for them he organizes them from the back so they'll miss that cross coming in now Ibrahimovic and that's a, a save for the goalkeeper Wide. You have to feel for him because Paris Saint Germain back now by uh, huge resources financially. It's a real project. I think that's the modern word for it, Alan. Yes, and now trying to attract Europe's best players to come to League One in France and uh, join the party, as it were, join the project, which is to become the most powerful team in this continent. He's one possession. A lot of financial resources behind this team, Paris Saint Germain moment the backers will be thinking that maybe they backed a loser here because the scoreline tells you they are behind and the shape of the game tells you that unless they improve they're going to really struggle in the second half as well Javier Pastore here's the chance would have brought them level here well the striker's getting a bit of stick off his own and the cross coming yeah, in yeah. opportunity here got to be Paris Saint-Germain have a corner now. In with a chance. Oh, look at the disappointment. That would have levelled it up. That's 
half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. So we reach half time with a score 1 0. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. Well, this first match of the Champions Cup has uh, taken shape in the first half. Second half underway. Yeah, match day one, you always want to get off to a good start, so still a chance for both teams here. Good solo. The ref blows for the free kick. It's going to be a booking. Well, that's risky going in like that. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent than seems to have been the case. Yeah, the good one. That is a free kick. And they've got a chance to really make the most of that decision. to the middle. A twinny! What a chance to be level in the match. No, it was, and it's a chance squandered. It's a poor, poor miss from him. So what about Bandy's next game? They're playing Crystal Palace in the next match in the Barclays Premier League, and given the way that they've been playing, I think they're going to struggle. Close range shots! Edison Cavani. Once Luis Suarez was playing again, Edinson Cavani. Lucas! Just the pressure at the vital moment seems to be telling on so many players in this team. They're all getting chances and they're all missing them. Yeah, and the more they miss, the worse it gets, and the crowd are getting on the backs now. Edinson Cavani. Well, this team will be in for extra shooting practice, I think, because the finishing has been well, very, very dismal. It has. Uh, in training, you can hit the, the target every time. But I think we'll see with these possession stats, Alan. That yes, the uh, game has been as even as it seemed without the figures to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think we thought coming into this match, Martin, that it would be evenly matched. Just taking the heat out of the moment. The it's gone in off the goalkeeper. I can't see any shots in it, I can't really. He's that kind of player, Slatan Ibrahimovic. Tries from any angle. Well, we're back at level pegging again at 1-1. And in goes the cross. Blocked well by the defender. Well, it is a corner. A chance to get the ball into the penalty area. at an important time in the game too a really decent effort but not quite good enough boy he might be through he's one on one with the goalkeeper here's the chance and that must be the winner and that's gone like a torpedo into the bottom right hand corner what a shot Could be their last chance to salvage something from this match. Pizzolo. This is the chance. Got to be. It's not a decisive save. Make sure he didn't give it the foul away. That's the end of the match, and it's 2-1. Well, that sort of win is really satisfying because they've had to give body and soul to get it. Yeah, it was a really close call, but uh, a lot of those players produced the best out there and they deserve that win. 
So it's full time with the final score 2 1. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.